after studying this module you shall be able to understand the meaning and concept of the term advertising learn various types of advertising media know the method of selecting an appropriate advertising media analyze various factors while selecting an advertising media and evaluate various aspects or factors which cause hindrances in selection of an appropriate media let us first of all know and understand the concept of advertising advertising is derived from the latin word advertere which means to turn the attention so all types of advertisements made using different media try to turn the attention of reader or listener towards the product service or idea being offered in the advertisement it is an act of persuading the customer to buy the product or service being offered which will give him satisfaction and profit to the manufacturer advertising is a tool of marketing which is in a paid form it always has an identified sponsor according to american marketing association advertising is any paid form of non personal presentation and promotion of ideas goods and services by an identified sponsor let us now understand the concept and different definitions of advertising as we know advertising is a paid form of non personal presentation or promotion of ideas goods or services by an identified sponsor with a view to spread information related to either an idea or product or service advertisement has been defined differently by different persons we can consider here few definitions of advertising number 1 according to wheeler advertising is any form of paid non personal presentation of ideas goods or services for the purpose of inducting people to buy two according to richard busker advertising is a paid form of non personal presentation of ideas goods or services by an identified sponsor 3 according to william j stanton advertising consists of all the activities involved in presenting to a group a non personal oral or visual openly sponsored message regarding disseminated through one or more media and is paid for by an identified sponsor all these three definitions clearly reveal that advertisement is a powerful means for spreading of information about the characteristics of the product to the prospective customers and an important element of promotional mix Let us now understand the different features of advertising. A it is a paid form of non-personal presentation and promotion of ideas, goods and services. B it has an identified sponsor. C the advertiser controls the content of advertising message, its time and direction. D It is a mass communication media with the main objective of persuasion and brings desired change in attitude and behavior of the customer. 
E. It is informative for the reader. It means the information about manufacturer, company, product, its feature, usage, etc. is provided. F. It involves a persuasive act on the part of manufacturer. Lastly, G. It is never a part of the product. Let us now understand some benefits arising out of advertising. A. It is a source of information for the consumers about various products, services being offered for the organization. It helps them to make right and economic decisions for future. B. It plays an important role in building brand image. C. It encourages innovation and new product development and reduces risk. D. It provides economic benefits which contribute to the generation of new jobs, higher incomes and comfortable way of living. E. Political advertising informs people about the candidates along with policies and party proposals. F. It contributes to the betterment of society by uplifting and inspiring people so that they can benefit themselves and others. G. And lastly, there are certain institutions which communicate message of faith, charity, health, etc to develop moral and religious values which is very helpful to the society. Let us now understand what copy creation means in advertising. Copywriters are the creative people who give shape to the information to be conveyed in, the, in an advertisement. Message concentrates on four aspects in an advertising copy that is message content, structure, format and source. Copy creation means the message which is written or spoken and includes body, headline, subheads and all pictures, captions, brand name, prices etc. Let us understand features of copywriting. A copy should be simple and easy to understand from consumer's point of view. 2. It should be brief so as not to lose the attention of reader. 3. It needs to use words which have clear meaning and does not leave any scope for ambiguity or vagueness. 4. It should have the capability to satisfy the target audience query. 5. Whatever information is shown should be based on facts so that prospect believes it. 6. And lastly, generally uniqueness is emphasized in a copy. Let us understand the different elements of a copy. The elements of a copy represent various parts of copy creation. First is headline. Headline has to be planned carefully as they have the capability to retain the attention of the reader. 2. Subheadlines. Subheadlines generally give support to the headline and go for elaborating the information given in the headline. 3. Body. The body of the copy is a place where the detailed information is given along with pictures, logos, etc. 4. Slogans These are the catchy lines or phrases which remain in the mind of the customer even when the message is not around. It sums up all the benefits of the product in few seconds. 5. Illustrations These are the pictures, charts, photographs, drawings which attract the attention of the customer. Let us know what an appeal means in an advertising copy. Appeals capture to the different needs of consumers. To be successful, 
it is very essential to capture the right appeal. Appeals can be classified as rational appeals, emotional appeals and moral appeals. Let us understand these three briefly one by one. Rational appeals. These appeals focus on audience's interest and are directed towards the linking faculty of the audience. 2. Emotional appeals. Emotional appeal is the mind setup of the people which prompts them to take the purchase decision. 3. And lastly, moral appeals. These appeals aim to divert the attention of audience to what is right and what is wrong, that is moral do's and don'ts. Let us understand the meaning of advertising media and types of advertising media. Every medium has distinctive and unique characteristics, though not all mediums are equally effective for the marketer. Thus, choosing the right media can be time-consuming process, requiring the marketer to balance the pros and cons of each option. Some other advertising media can be television. Television advertising provides the benefit of wider coverage by reaching large numbers of customers in a single exposure. 2. Radio an advantage of radio is that people listen to programs while doing other things. In some cases, radios are on the whole day. Commercials are small and last about 30 seconds. 3. Print publications Print media generally comprises of newspapers, magazines, leaflets, brochures, fillers, etc. Newspapers and magazines generally sell the advertising space according to the area occupied by the advertisement. 4. The Internet Internet advertising is becoming more and more popular and very important among advertisers these days. The Internet has the advantage of being available to people around the world at the same time and at all times. 5. Direct Mail Direct Mail consists of leaflets, brochures, catalogues or letters that are mailed directly to people. Mail order companies profit from this kind of advertising. 6. Signage The marketers use signs to advertise their product. Billboards, signboards which are generally located in high traffic areas is one of the most observable method of advertising. 7. Mobile devices Electronic devices such as cell phones, smartphones, portable computers and other such wireless devices help customers to gather information and communicate with others without any limitation of fixed location. 8. And lastly, sponsorships it is a simple method of advertising in which marketers pay or offer sources or services or support and associate with an organization's event, program or product offering as a supporter. Let us now understand how media is selected. There are many factors that influence selection of a media. Some such factors are or some factors that an advertiser must consider while selecting a media for advertising are number one objectives of the campaign two budget available with the advertiser three research concerning client four the product in terms of its nature size customers etc five type of message or selling appeal six relative cost 7. Presence of clutter 8. The potential market 9. And lastly, some miscellaneous factors such as copy formulation, language, timing of advertisement, its frequency, life of advertisement, advertisement media used by the competitor, etc. 
Let us now, now know the importance or significance of an appropriate media. Media planning helps the advertisers in many ways. For example, number one, it helps the advertisers in optimally utilizing its resources by selecting the right combination of media to communicate the advertisement message in the most economical manner. Two, media planning is designed to help in the achievement of the overall marketing and advertising plans of the organization. Three, in media planning, Different medias are compared on the basis cost per viewer, media coverage, media rating, etc. It also helps in ensuring that the selected media is as per the customer's requirement. 4. Media planning helps in selecting optimum media mix. 5. It helps in deciding the amount to be allocated to different media vehicles. 6. Media planning includes media scheduling, the time and space of advertising in media. 7. It helps in controlling the performance by setting up the standards related to the coverage of target audience. After learning this, let us now understand the different problems in media selection. Media selection, media mix, media scheduling involves various and varied difficulties. Some of the difficulties are number one, insufficient information. The insufficient and incorrect information makes it difficult to select the right media. Two, time pressure. It needs a lot of time, so to put up media planners under pressure to take timely and right decision. 3. Difficulty in recipients measurement. It is very difficult to measure the number of customers who receive the message through different media and especially broadcast media. 4. Problems in cost comparison. It is difficult to compare the cost of different media. Unavailability of cost comparable basis makes it difficult to select the appropriate media. 5. Impact of changes in environmental factors. Any change in external environmental factors affect the data collected for the purpose of media selection and decision making. 6. And lastly, lack of expertise. The selection of media is not an easy task and requires expertise, talent and experience, failing which the decision regarding the media selection may go wrong. Let us now know the importance of measuring advertising effectiveness. Importance of measuring advertising effectiveness will include number one, it gives control over advertising campaign, two, it is helpful in evaluation of advertisement copy. Three, it helps in justifying the investment involved. Four, it is helpful in future media planning. Five, measuring effectiveness helps in keeping track of effective versus ineffective advertisements. Six, it makes ascertaining the advertisement saturation point possible. Seven, it is beneficial to be updated with advertising trends. 8. It avoids possible failure. 9. And lastly, it helps in comparing two markets. Let us understand the various problems in evaluating advertisement effectiveness. The advertisers generally face many problems while evaluating the effectiveness of an advertisement. Few of these problems are number 1. The evaluation of advertisement effectiveness with these methods indicate that response of the customers is directly related to the effect that the advertisement ran in the trial period. But it might be possible that the customer's response is influenced by past advertisements of the company as well. 2. 
एडवर्टीजमेंट इज नॉट दी ओनली फैक्टर बट इट इज वन ऑफ अदर फैक्टर सच एज प्राइसिंग ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट सेल्स प्रमोशन स्कीम्स चेंज इन फीचर्स ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट एट्सेट्रा विच अफेक्ट द सेल्स ऑफ द कंपनी थ्री मेनी एक्सपर्ट्स आर ऑफ द ओपिनियन दैट मेथड्स यूज फॉर मेजरिंग एडवर्टीजमेंट इफेक्टिवनेस आर सब्जेक्टिव and do not provide any universal criteria for evaluation four it has been argued that some advertisements may achieve the communication objective but may not promote sales five and lastly it is difficult to measure the exact response of the respondent customers as the total number of the readers or viewers exposed to the advertisement is not known let us now recapitulate what we have learned in this module so far advertising is a paid form of non personal presentation or promotion of ideas goods or services by an identified sponsor with a view to spread information related to either an idea or product or service there are various advertising media such as television radio magazines direct mail signage internet and sponsorships among others are selected either in isolation or combination by the companies selection of advertising media must be done carefully and appropriate media must be selected after considering various aspects various factors such as objective of advertising campaign budget restrictions and characteristics of the product its selling appeal and estimation of the potential customers are among other important factors that must be considered while selecting an advertising media it is important to properly plan the selection of advertising media and lastly inadequate information time pressure difficulty in measuring the actual number of people receiving the message calculation of comparative cost involved external environment etc are some of the factors that pose problems for advertising managers in media selection